I am. Okay, so we all know that I'm not moving anymore. Amos is, is actually OP. And <laughs> thanks to this clip, which was provided by Fortnite Poggers, you could have seen the the aim assist the actual exits in game is kind of overpowered by but the question is like how should it be like how should it be dealt with you know and the problem is that the aim assist does not i wouldn't say that it helps you like that much the problem is that it helps you even if you don't see the target and yeah that's pretty much what i want to say like at the beginning but the, th the topic of this video is first lab i have decided to stop playing with controller which means that i have decided to stop my project controller if you don't know what the project controller is just definitely go and watch my video about the project and in the second part the topic of the video will be like commentary way uh, I would say like commentary style of video in which I have one duo I mean like solo duo sort of because as you can see my friend is still here right but he's going to disconnect in I don't know like in a maybe like the next two minutes because he's at some internet problems during the day and yeah it was pretty unlucky but i managed to win it solo so definitely stay tuned for that and without any further ado let's i know like let me thank you all for watching you're all really really awesome and i cannot thank you enough for supporting me with the subscriptions and all the good stuff so definitely if you're not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button please please smash the like the like button and without any further ado let's get straight to the video Okay, so let me start off with why did I decide to stop playing with controller. The reason for it is the the project I've been planning on doing did not really go as I planned because I've gotten a lot a lot of feedback from you guys that you don't really enjoy this particular project and since you don't like it then I wouldn't say that I don't have like any reason to do it because that would be a total lie but I mean like I enjoyed it right don't get me wrong but when I looked at the statistics like uh, what you were t saying to me and what you were like whispering me in game and stuff like that then I've decided to drop the project and continue doing all the funny videos like finding some random funny kids or curing some random people in random squads duos or whatever and because i love it i won't lie i fell in love with random duos and squads i don't know like how is it possible because like a lot of a lot of you really like dislike it but i know like i really feel like the the feeling when you actually help someone and like actually when you actually carry someone it's actually incredible right by the way i just went to stop for a bit you can see here that i have been playing my controller and then i have switched to my mouse and keyboard just to place the trap right <laughs> yeah that's kind of a problem you know like i've been playing with like for like three days with controller by this time and i still didn't know how to place the launch pad right but i don't know like it's all oh, it is so yeah so that was pretty much the reason why i stopped playing with controller and yeah let's move to, to the second part which is the commentary video of how i won solo duo queue and 
pretty much what I would like to do in this video is to give you some tips and tricks how to win if you're either solo and you want to play solo or if you are playing with your friend and he accidentally disconnected or he just died because I know like you were unlucky and someone finished him like straight away yeah we're not gonna lie a lot of people keep smashing people for no reason whatsoever and I really dislike it, so please, if you're one of the people like who tend to finish people straight away, please stop doing it, because like, what's the point of it? You know, like, the game is not about making someone else's day worse. The game is about having fun. How can you have fun if you pretty much don't do anything, right? So that's probably about it and i should really start with it so what you'll see me do now is that i know about these two people being at expansion outpost right i know that it's a duo because i've seen them with my sniper rifle and right now i have been thinking a lot whether i should shoot them or not because i know that there is nine more people left and I know about two of them, which is pretty nice, right? So it only leads to some more people. And as you can see, two more people died. So it's only five more people. But I still didn't know where someone is not on like on the right side of me. So I wanted to wait a little bit. And I wanted to make sure that no one starts shooting at them or something like that. Because if they have gotten shot at from someone else, now I would know that that person will know about would know about me as well, and that's kind of what you don't want to do, right? Because if you're solo and if you're not like if you're not hundred percent sure that you can win, then just keep playing like like passive. As you can see here, I've noticed one more person, and I wanted to kill him, right? And the reason for this is that these two people cannot hear me. And they have no idea of knowing from where they shoot. But even though I fucked up, because it was way farther than I thought they would be. It doesn't matter. The point is that this, I'm still safe, right? And what I want to do now is that when the zone is nearly about to come down, I now know about these two people and about one more, which is which leaves to only one more guy left and in this point i started to believe in myself that, and you should do that as well because there is only one guy and if you get third partied then you can protect yourself against one guy right like one guy is not that bad you know like well let's just say being attacked by one guy doesn't really do anything because you can build a wall and do nothing you can see that i am able to build wall against against two people at the same time and that's basically a point right so what you want to do in this situation when you get constantly spammed at the is the you want to build your stairs towards the target location in case they have broken through your wall as they did right now because if they would have fired RPG and break the wall, I would I would have died if the stars weren't there, right? But like this, the stars would have blocked the RPG anyway. So that's the point of the stars. Plus you get a more, more cover for the bullet damage, right? And it helps as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. When you get, get spammed in, two things you should focus about the first thing and i think that the first thing is the most important keep building the wall in front of you keep doing that if you have the wall the second important thing the second most important thing i mean build the stairs towards your enemy because it's another wall and right here you could have seen that i have been okay for like for the entire day of the fight and right now, when the zone is here, I, know, I knew that I had still two launch pads, which means that I could have used one of these launch pads and still keep one of them for next rotation, which allowed me to rotate so, so late. And 
Rotating like at the last second is both risky and clever at play. In this case, I knew where the where one guy was, right? And he was right here in this building. And the thing is, why I didn't I want to like push him straight away was that I didn't know whether it was just one guy or if it was two. But when I've noticed that I haven't heard two people, but I've only heard one, I went for it and I pushed him like this, which means that I'm now in his base and I can set up some traps. And these traps are actually, I would say like kind of important because in some cases you can really like utilize them. But yeah, if you don't have them, just don't stress out. Destroy enemy walls, replace them with yours and it will definitely help you. So what you could have seen again and what I have been talking, telling you about is rotate lately. I've rotated at the last second and I've benefited from it. Even this guy, which was one of these two guys I have came across, oh sorry, I have come across during the first, like during the first part, they didn't know about it. Or I mean, like he didn't know about it and his primary partner didn't know about it either. And it pretty much gave me free kill. And what do you want to do at the end? If you don't know how many people are there, if you if you're not sure, just play it safe. Don't do this what I have just done. Just play safe like this. Place the wall and block the other enemy. And that's pretty much all you have to do to win. It is not that hard. So if you think it's hard, watch this video. Do what I said you to do. And yeah, peace. I will definitely thank you. I would like to thank you all for watching once more. You are all awesome. Please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Ask all the questions I have down below, below, down below in the comments. If you want to help with something, I will definitely go ahead and do it. And peace.